Hey everybody, I just wanted to share with you a workflow that helps you to automate printing of your Google documents uh, using Google Apps Script, Dropbox, and then a folder action with Automator on a Mac. So first of all, uh, I want to go back to an old blog post I wrote a couple of years ago uh, where we used Google Apps Script to, uh, with user input to automate repetitive tasks in Google Docs. So at my church, we have this uh, script that we use every week. We call it the Talking Points. Uh, but basically, it's a script that anytime someone's going to speak during the service, we try to write it, write out what they're going to say. And we need a document for this for every single week for every auditorium that we're going to have a service for. And so uh, one way would be just to manually create that document every week. Uh, but I decided to automate this with Google Docs and Google Apps Scripting that allowed us to basically create these in bulk and template them out so they automatically have the auditorium or the venue, the talking points title, and the date, and then just some general boilerplate things. And then each week we go in and actually edit those and put in the actual details. Uh, but this is a post about that, so if you want to go back and read that, you can find that on the blog, and I share the code and everything that it takes to do that within Google Apps Script. But today I want to uh, talk about a new thing where I am actually using uh, Google Apps Script to uh, automatically send the documents that match the Sunday date each week uh, as a PDF to Dropbox, which then syncs to the local machine and prints out automatically using an automator folder action. So you may recall I have another post where I talked about using that folder action. Uh, this was back in September where uh, this was actually for Planning Center API, but I'm going to scroll down and you can see here I made a new folder action that anytime a specific folder on the computer receives files, uh, and if they're PDFs, then it runs this shell script, which actually just does a print to the default printer and then removes the file when it's done. So I'm going to combine those two things in a new approach today. So first of all, if you go to dropbox.com slash developers when you're logged into your Dropbox account, you can create your own custom app. And so I'm going to do that now. And this basically allows you to have custom actions within Dropbox that do specific things. And then you can authenticate using a Dropbox API token and get that data in and out of Dropbox through third-party programs like Google Apps Script. So I'm going to hit Create App. And it's going to want you to choose an API. And for me, the only option here is scoped access. So I'm going to choose that. And then for my app, I needed full Dropbox access because I already had a folder set up called automated printing uh, in the root of my Dropbox. And I didn't want to move that. So I am just going to choose full Dropbox. You'll need to give your app a name. And that needs to be a unique name to the Dropbox service. So if you get a name error that's already been taken, just give it a something that's unique to you. And then you'll need to choose whether the Dropbox account is owned by your personal account or business if you have a business account. And then you'll click Create App. Now the first thing it's going to do is bring up the Settings tab here. Um, what I'm going to do is click over to Permissions. And I'm going to come down here to Files, Content, Write. And I'm going to give my app access to write files uh, to Dropbox. And I'm going to say submit so that gets saved. Now I'm going to come back to settings and I'm going to choose generate access token. Um, this will tell you here kind of what that's for. But uh, this basically is gives you the token or password that allows you to use your Dropbox account through Google Apps Script. So I'm going to generate that now. And this is like a password, so you should keep it private um, because anybody that has this has access to your account. So uh, we'll leave that there, and then I'm going to say the token expiration. I want to use this for a long time, so I'm going to give it no expiration. And everything else here is fine. So now I want to actually set up um, a new Google App script. So you'll want to go to Google Drive and go to New. And if it doesn't show up here, you'll have to come down to more and then let's say Google Apps Script. This will open up the Apps Script uh, interface here. And you'll want to give your project a name. 
and then it kind of dumps in here to this my function. So if you go to my blog, you'll be able to get this code. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go over to another tab where I already have it open. So this is my script here. And uh, you can see I've blacked out my token there because I don't want you guys to have access to that. Uh, but let's walk through what this actually does. So uh, first, you need to put in your Dropbox access token. And then you need to specify the root folder, the Google Drive root folder where these files will live. Uh, the files that you want to uh, print every week. And so let's look at what we have. So for us, we have a folder here in our team drives called Sunday Morning Talking Points. And then I have subfolders here uh, where uh, we then have the individual files that we use every week. So what I did is I went back to this root folder here and I got this folder ID and I put that into my... Uh, Google Apps Script here for the root folder. Now this Dropbox path is the path that I already set up with my folder action. It's in the root of my Dropbox called Automated Printing. And I have an Automator folder action that runs on anything that gets put in there to print it. Um, so that's the folder I'm going to use. And then number of copies. For me, I need two copies of each file to print out automatically. So number of copies is two. And So here's what this does. Uh, we'll run my function and it starts by building a date variable. It's going to build um, a string variable that looks and reads like the names of these files. And so it's going to look for one that might be called, if the today's date was January 17, it would look for January space 17, 2021. And it's going to say, do any of these match that date? So um, it'll run and it will look for any that match. And if there's a match and uh, it's not already a PDF if it's a Google document, then it's one we want to print. So it's going to generate a PDF. It's going to open up um, for the however many copies I need. It's going to make uh, that as a PDF and send it to my send a Dropbox uh, subroutine and then wait for 15 seconds. So let's talk about what the send a Dropbox function does and then come back up here to why it needs to wait 15 seconds. So send a Dropbox, basically uh, I give it my token, I give it the, uh, the payload is the PDF blob binary data, and then it uploads to this uh, path here provided by Dropbox in their API. Uh, and that's basically all it does. Now I need two copies of each file. So what this does is it generates a PDF for each copy. Um, I realize there's probably more efficient ways to do that, but I didn't want to change my folder action uh, that I already had configured. So I just have it send the file more than once for however many copies it needs. Now the reason it sits and sleeps here for 15 seconds is because Dropbox needs time to sync the file, Automator needs time to print the file, remove it, and then close itself out. If you have the Automator folder action running and more files get synced to that folder while it runs, they won't get included in the process, nor will the folder action go back in and revisit those files that were added. Um, I would say that's maybe a bug with how folder actions work, but just by having it wait 15 seconds, that's enough time for Google to send it to Dropbox, Dropbox to sync it to my local computer, my local computer to run the action, print the file, delete the file, and then the next file can get added. And so let's take a look at how that works. So I've gone in here to my folder and I just made a new file and gave it today's date just so that my script will find something. Now normally I'm going to have this run on Sundays, but this isn't a Sunday date or when I'm recording this video. So I made this test file so that we can see how it works. All right, so let's see this in action. We're going to run this. And it's going to find that one document for today and generate that PDF. And then it's automatically going to upload it to Dropbox. And Dropbox will sync it down to the other computer. So let's remote in. You can see this is my automated printing folder. I have this in my root of my Dropbox. And the folder action's already run the first time and printed that file. We should see our second file pop in here in a second. There's our second file. The folder action you can see up here, it's running and it's going to print that and then automatically remove the file. So that's the whole process in action. It goes from 
Google Doc to Google Apps Script to Dropbox, syncs locally, the folder action runs, prints it out, and then removes the file when we're done. So that's a fully automated setup. And what you have to do to get this to trigger is you come over to your app script and you come down here to the clock, which is triggers. And then I've already got one set up here that's time-based. Uh, but basically you'll add a trigger, choose which function to run, and then you want to say um, a week timer every Sunday or whatever your time is. I've got mine set to print out from 6 to 7 a.m. So that will run uh, every Sunday at 6 a.m and print out for me automatically. So that's how we are automating our printing of Google Documents using Google Apps Script, Dropbox, and Automator. If you want more information and some of the pictures and step-by-steps of this, you can visit the blog, techministry.blog, and I hope this is helpful for you guys.